Hi, this is Paul with AppWorks again. Uh, I'm just continuing to talk about changing the formatting of your text on your layouts. Last time I talked about using the data formatting tool. This time I'm going to be talking about using conditional formatting, which is much more useful and gives you a lot more options. So as we know last time, I set it up so that this turns red and shows a negative sign, and, it, and they all have dollar signs and zeros. Now for conditional formatting, you can't do the dollar signs or the negatives, but what you can do is control the color and a lot of other things to do with the font. So, and the best part about this is that you can do it to fields that aren't directly related to that particular field. So for instance, if we selected this field and we said conditional formatting, it brings up this window and you add a condition. You have two options. You have value is, which is, as it would assume, based on the value of the field you selected, or formula is. So if you're doing value is, you have a lot of options of the value. It's greater than, less than, all the usual conditions, plus a few extras. Uh, you have formula is, you have the option of self, which is the field, again, that you selected, or you can select a different field, or a variable, or a global field, a lot of different options. Or it can just be a, con a condition based completely on a calculation that's done here. Um, so in this case, we're going to go to invoice slide items, say, if the price is less than zero, we want the text to be red. We also have a lot of other formatting options such as the font, the size, and a lot of and the fill color of the actual field. We'll just go with this for now. And what we see now is this is as well turning red. What we can also do is have more than one condition. So if we add another one we'll just use the actual value of this field and say it's greater than one. We want it to be bold and italic. That condition is met by all of these, so they all turn bold and italic. And one thing to keep in mind when adding multiple conditions is that, let's say that this one also says text color blue. Now first, FileMaker is gonna go through and set the text color to red, but it will continue to go through all of these conditions to see which ones are met, and the last ones that apply will be what you see. So this will turn the text color red, but then once it gets down here, it'll change it to blue. So now this is blue instead of red, so you just need to keep that in mind when having a number of conditions that are using the same formatting options. Uh, another place that this is nice is that you can do it to items that aren't fields, such as these labels. Let's say if the amount due is greater than zero, then we want this to be bold, and let's go with red again, and it makes this kind of an alert to let you know that money is still owed on this. One other area where this can be pretty handy is let's say we want to use a popover window, or this could be just a normal button, but in this case we do popover, and we want this to show this container with some file related to the invoice because for whatever reason we don't want it to show up here. So now the invoice is in there. This icon shows up as black, but if we say wanted it to change color so that we know there's a file in that container field, we would say if not is empty invoice image then change the icon color to whatever you want, let's say purple. Now we see this is purple, so you know before even opening that popover that the image is there. Once you get rid of it, it changes back to black. <clears throat> um, another thing that I want to mention here that isn't directly conditional formatting, but it uses all the same calculations is the option to hide object when. So all those calculations that we were doing to figure out whether or not to change the font will also work here. So in this case, let's say if amount due is greater than zero, I'm sorry, if it's less than one, then we want to hide this because we don't want to send a reminder if they actually owe, don't owe money. But let's say we change this to zero, field pops away. There's a lot of other uses for the hide object when as well, um, but we don't want to get into all of those here. We'll cover that in another video sometime. So 
So I hope that's been useful, and I will see you next time.